Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech. And in this video, we're just gonna be doing a first setup and boot of the Wii U. So we're just gonna do a startup of the Wii U. I haven't turned it on yet. This is actually the first time turning it on and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I got the right HDMI slot. If I didn't, and I don't think I did. Oh, maybe I did. Yep, here we go. So far, just a black screen. Wii U, 1080p HD it says. That's always nice. This is a 720p a TV though, so you're not gonna be able to really see full 1080p anyways to it. So. To turn on turn on the Wii U gamepad and press the sync button on the Wii U console. Um, so, and this is uh, what the Wii U gamepad is showing, showing something completely different than uh, what the screen or the TV says. I'm basically saying, you know, the same thing, sync it. So, sync the power button. So we're just gonna hit, we're just sync, oh, here it is. Sync. Oh, how am I supposed to get in? Oh yeah, they give you a stylus to uh, sync the gamepad. Tap the symbols in order that they are displayed on the screen from left to right. If you don't see any symbols displayed on the TV screen, press the sync button on the Wii U console. Okay, so we see the spade, the heart, heart and diamond and uh, connecting to the Wii U console and we'll see what happens. I, I didn't really know. I figured, I thought I knew they were going to include a stylus, but it's basically the DS stylus. So Nintendo says it's connecting. Your Wii U gamepad is not ready for us or for use. Please look at the gamepad screen. Um, okay, it's just in a different language. Has a nice little uh, effect there, like little particles flying around. Instructions appear on the TV screen. Please look at the gamepad screen. They're telling me to look at each other. I don't know what to do. So do I just press home? Here we go. Select the language. So we are going to select English. Change the display language of the Wii U gamepad. Okay. We want to set the display language to English since this is English and we are living in the United States. So like I said, United States, we'll just select that. So you're doing all this setup here on the actual gamepad. Uh, the TV and the Wii U is actually just showing kind of what's going on. So from now, you'll be able to turn off your console using the power button on the Wii U gamepad. Select the day. Uh, what's today? 11. Today's launch day. So what, the 18th? 18, 2012. It is, what time is it? Enter the current time. I gotta look at my phone to see what time it is. 2.45 p.m. So we'll just go down. You can also use your finger if you really want, but I'll just use a stylus. Oh, no, 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 not a.m. P.m. 2 p.m. Date and time saved. So it's a relatively easy setup process, nothing really confusing. Uh, it's very straightforward. Your TV has been automatically configured using the following settings. HDMI, 1080p, Aspect ratio 69. You can start to hear um, some sound from the Wii U. The pictures display on the screen. You want to change. We don't as we see it, so we don't need to change on anything. So next, you can also use your gamepad to control your TV. Do you want to set this up? Yes. We'll see how hard that is. We'll see if that's hard. Select the remote that you use to control your TV. The setup will other remote. I'll see you can, if you want to read further down on the screen, it's telling you to use the right analog stick. So select this if you currently use the remote that came with your TV. I use the TV remote. And select, so this, uh, this could be a little bit confusing. This, the touch screen, uh, it's very, very smooth. Um, again, this is basic function, so it should be smooth, but it looks very nice. It looks like a nice screen. This isn't multi-touch or anything, so you do have to keep that in mind. Uh, where's Vizio at? I have a Vizio. Vice. What? Oh, yeah, Vizio there at the bottom. After turning on your TV, test each button to see what the right is working. Okay, so volume. I don't see that. Turning on your TV. Test each of the buttons. Okay, nothing's working. 
Oh yeah, I, okay, I, that's obviously why, because I was pointing at the ceiling. Uh, but now it's working. So if I hit the volume down, the volume goes down, volume up, it goes up. I can pick the input, and uh, how do I select? Input, uh-huh. Whoa, not that fast. Okay, I just need to go one at a time, not just hammer it. So uh, that's nice. Uh, TV, like I said, isn't on here right now. Um, they didn't include that. It's going to be in a, a December update, which is kind of disappointing because I really just wanted to use this to control my TV. That's really why I bought it. I <laughs> know, but that is a really nice feature. So we're going to say it worked. Configured as followed. So the remote control function is configured. I'm going to press TV to access the remote. Setup for the remote is now complete. Sensor bar position. We can set that up. It is above the TV, as you can see. It's right there. So set above the TV. We don't want to view health and safety information. That's not important. We're just going to agree because we're not going to do anything it says not to do. Now it's just asking us to please wait. And it's proceeding with setting up. The console's internet connection will now be set up. Um, so we're going, to, we're going to connect to the internet. I'll just bring this off camera because you guys don't need to see my internet connection. Even though you're not going to probably come to my house anyways. We'll just keep that confidential. Did it really show it on the screen? I wasn't paying attention. It probably was. Um, so it says it's testing our connection. And like I said, everything on the setup is on the gamepad. So really you could kind of just do it without looking at the TV screen at all. You can just look at the gamepad screen. And so it says the connection was successful. Okay. Saved as connection one. System update, connect to the internet and update the console. Um, sure, we'll update it. We'll just see how long this whole process takes and just how quick you'll get to be able to play your games and put your games in and start playing or start looking around. So it's just checking for updates now. There should be one. I'm pretty sure they released an update already um, for the Wii U. I saw it online. They put an update out, but I'm not sure what it is. It's not TV, unfortunately. It's what I've been waiting for. But now it says it's downloading the data update, and we'll come back when the update's done downloading. And so the update didn't go very well. I think it's because I have the router completely in a different room than I have the Wii U. If I had the Wii U closer to the router, it was literally taking forever. So I decided to cancel it. Um, it shouldn't take that long, but it's probably a pretty big update. So uh, just be prepared to, to wait anyways. I think there might be something wrong with the internet connection, plus the router's in a different room. So I decided to skip it for now. Um, so we're just going to continue with the setup. We're going to, it says to set up a new user. You can add new users by following the instructions on the gamepad screen. And so we are waiting patiently as it loads up. And I'd, I'd say overall, it's a pretty easy process. Um, it takes a while. Especially if you have a slow internet connection, the update's going to take, take you a pretty good while. But other than that, it's not that bad. It's pretty streamlined. It doesn't really take that long. Like I said, uh, the download and the update's going to probably take you the longest time to do. And so we can create Mies. Um I'm just going to choose a random one. And we'll just pick a random one. We'll just pick this one. Um, he's going to be the one we use for now. You can edit your me at any time. Uh, good enough. I'll uh, nickname um, Ty. Okay. Register. Okay. Next save. And we'll see where it goes now. Just wait a little bit longer. There, I guess there is a decent amount of waiting, but this is just loading up all your information for the first time. A new user has been added. Uh, the Wii U menu. This is the Wii U menu. I'm just kind of waiting. I can't really hit anything. Can't control anything. Can't tap it. I'm guessing, here we go. And here's the Wii U menu. And so we see the Mii Plaza on the TV. But on the gamepad, we see the menu of the games and stuff. We have Netflix, we have Hulu Plus, we have some updates we can do, Amazon, YouTube. All this is available on the uh, pad. You can also switch it. So but for now, I'm gonna, I need to turn down the volume. So we'll turn down the volume. That's going to come in handy. 
Um, so if we want to switch it, we can just switch and then our Wii Plaza will be here and then all of our uh, apps are up here. So that's really nice. Um, so I'm not going to get too far into it. Um, it's, it reminds me of the Wii, obviously, because uh, it's kind of the same tiled setup. But this has been the first boot up and startup of the Wii U. Like I said, this is the basic version. The deluxe version will be coming in. I'm probably not going to do a video about that because the setup is going to be basically the exact same thing. It's just a different model and different stuff that's included with the actual Wii U. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe at the top and check out some of my other videos. Got some more Wii U videos coming up as we go along. And so thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.